Hey everyone, without further ado, well, first of all, <laughs> I'm Leo Reese. Thank you guys for watching. And as you can see, I'm at the house. So I want to give you guys that breakdown. Welcome back to RRLN. So this will be the breakdown of how I did for the entire month of January. Uh, coming a little bit late, I'll try to get better at these of getting them right when the month ends. I'll have to come up with the February one as well. But without further ado, as I promised you guys, here is what I did for the month of January. So for DoorDash, I did a total of 578 trips for the month. And the total I got for all those delivery was, deliveries were $4,400. $4,495.73. I will get better at this. <laughs> For Uber and Eats, I did a total of 268 deliveries. For a grand total of $2,410.28. For Instacart, I did three deliveries for $57.73. And for a grand total, oh, and for a grand total, I didn't add it up, so forgive me. Let me add this up now. See if my math skills fail me or do I still got it? So, so from just DoorDash and Uber Eats, that was $6,906. And when we add in Instacart, that was $6,963.73. So I came in at about $963 above the goal, which is always $1,500 a week. So I did $6,963.73. I feel like I could have did better, but you know, we had some snowstorms and that, so it cut some of my time down. Now, I stayed out, but it slowed it down due to the inclement weather. Now, for the gas that I did for the month, I paid $796.21. That's how much gas I used for that entire month. So almost $800. And with the gas really going up now, I expect February and March's price, especially going in March because of the unfortunate news with uh, Ukraine and Russia, there the oil prices have been going up. Right now, the gas is like four dollars and nineteen cents, so that will affect my costs. So this is again why I tell you guys, you have to do stuff close. It really is a disservice to you if you take some of those longer deliveries because of how high the gas is going up. And for the miles I did for that month, it was 3,143 miles. So it is a lot of wear and tear on your car. So just be causing it, causing it of that. And I did have two repair bills that I had to have in January. One was I got my, I got four brand new tires and that whole cost was $749.15. The tires were about $149 and to get everything installed with brakes was $569.15 for maintenance. So maintenance came in at around $800 for that month as well. And then I had an oil change that month for $95.83. So that kind of brought my earn monthly earnings down to about $5,200. And I'll get better with this with more exact numbers, but I made about $5,200, I would say, for the month, which is not bad, but a little bit under my goal. So I did make it, but because of the maintenance repairs for the car. Now, however you look at that, you may say, hey, well, my car is always gonna need maintenance. So you may not look at that as a cost, but I look at everything and the maintenance of my car was about $800 that month. Hopefully that did come down in February because I didn't have anything other than right now in March, I had to get a new radiator. That was the adversity of yesterday. And then last Sunday, uh, a hose came apart. So now they're fixing that now. That's why I'm not out there right now. I'll be out there later, but wanted to give you guys that. So it's definitely doable. You know, especially if you don't have any, you know, maintenance issues that come up. 
I could have stayed at around 6200 if I just had to have that cost of the gas that was almost $800. But it's definitely doable. You can make the $6,000 a month if you go out there and you stay dedicated. And as always, it's not so much about what you make, it's about what you can put the money, the extra, what you put into to go somewhere and get financially free. It's not so much that you, because if you make $15 an hour, you make about $600 a week or 900, of course, with taxes and stuff. And I didn't, this is before taxes. Let me be clear about that as well. So that $6,000 is, but I haven't taken anything out for taxes. So if you take out another, probably 10%, that's another $700. So it brings you down probably to about 4,500 because of the maintenance issue. And once again, if I didn't have that, it'd be about 5,200. So you always gotta put the taxes in there too, because remember, all this money is not yours. You have to have some for taxes at the end of the year. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. You guys stay blessed. Know that you can do this. Believe me, it's a snowball effect. As you keep going, keep building, the money that you make will balloon up to something substantial, but you gotta go out there, you gotta be dedicated, and you have to do your, pretty much your due diligence. You have to know how many miles you're going, you gotta know how much gas you're spending, and you gotta know how much you're making. So you guys stay blessed, I'll get at you later. Take care.